Good morning, everyone. Happy New Year. Welcome to 2021, finally. Uh, the bad year is behind us and we are hoping that this one is going to be a bit better. Uh, anyway, I decided to start this year properly, so I came to Zlatibor Mountain and uh, yeah, right now it's uh, January 1st. It's 10 a.m. I had a little bit of sleep last night. We, we were celebrating at, until probably 3 a.m. So I didn't get much sleep. Uh, but yeah, I decided to come here. And uh, this is actually where I, where I filmed my first uh, YouTube video. So I am at the Gostilje waterfall. And uh, hopefully uh, I'm gonna be able to give you guys uh, more a bit better video than I did the first time. Anyway, uh, what I'm going to be talking about today is like, like I said, since it's the beginning of the new year, uh, kind of a New Year's resolution. Uh, what do you guys have? Uh, what goals did you set for yourselves? And uh, for me personally, I, I have two goals. I mean, I do have more, but uh, two goals regarding the photography and the videography is... So the first one would be to actually have more videos this year. So at least 12, so once a month, that, that's at least, but it would be perfect if I could push that up to maybe 20, 24, you know, two videos per month. So that would be great, but I'm not sure I'm going to be able to do that. So yeah, let's see. Uh, at least 12 that's like a lower lowest limit we are not gonna be uh, allowing ourselves to go below that that's the one the second one the second one would be to create a calendar for the year to come uh, preferably preferably with the photos of Serbia so 12 photos, 12 great photos for each month. And uh, at the end of the year, to end up with a nice uh, photography calendar. Uh, I may have been able to do it for the last year, but uh, I don't know. Uh, I wasn't too happy with some of the photos. Uh, so yeah, I don't know. Hopefully this year we will have 12 great photos, photos for the photo calendar and uh, yeah without further ado let's get ready and let's get down to the waterfall uh, now this particular waterfall waterfall Gostilje is uh, great because you can basically spend an entire day here and and, and shoot tens of, of different photos because uh, it goes all the way down to the river, uh, maybe 50 meters down, and there are a bunch of different compositions that, that you can have. It has multiple cascades and, you know, so you can end up with 10 different photos and you could never tell it's from the same waterfall. Uh, I'm going to be spending most of my time today here, so... Yeah, I'm hoping to end up with at least one good photo today. Uh, Fortunately, there is no snow. It would be better if there is, but uh, yeah, the snow melted a couple of days ago. Uh, temperatures are here above zero right now. So it's everything that, that, that it, of the snow that it was, it's now melted. And uh, unfortunately, no snow this uh, year for me, I guess. Anyway, let's go. Okay, here's the main waterfall the tallest one the first one and uh, i'm gonna try to get uh, some composition here i need to be careful because this trail is so slippery uh, uh, i almost fell twice so yeah, it's gonna be interesting anyway uh, like i said this is the main event uh, the main waterfall uh, but as you can see, the water goes down all the way down to here and from here it goes again, there are three cascades down and 
the trail follows the waterfall all the way down to the river and I'm gonna be going down there and, and uh, check uh, what we can get but probably somewhere down is gonna be the best composition that I can get but for now let's try to figure out what uh, we are gonna do with this one okay I hope that you can hear me it's a bit noisy it's loud here next to the waterfall but uh, anyway here is the first composition for today I'm not too happy about it but uh, yeah uh, not much uh, we can do because there's this fence going around here so I'm trying to avoid it right here in the lower part this I'm touching the fence right now so yeah I'm trying to avoid that and you're seeing 16 by 9 right now because of the video uh, it's gonna be a bit more on the top end and on the bottom so it's gonna be 4 by 5 originally uh, and uh, I'll see how I'm gonna crop it uh, later in the post processing anyway uh, as you can see I have cut out most of the waterfall out there uh, but I kind of wanted to, to go from the upper left side and, and, and catch all of this water streaming down here into this lower right part which is kind of interesting and uh, yeah I'm a bit concerned about the, this part over here because there's nothing actually happening up there so I don't know if, go, if it's gonna work yeah let's take the photo and uh, let's see I am at 12 millimeters uh, and I'm shooting f11 I'm gonna be at ISO 100 and uh, it's one fifth of the second so I can capture some motion in the water and still preserve some of the details yeah let's see how it's gonna look just a few meters down from the main waterfall I hope you can see it yeah we have this beauty right here and uh, I've been taking a couple of photos already from from up there but then I decided to actually come all the way down here so so yeah I pretty much have a vertical composition here and uh, Let's see if you can know you can see this. Anyway, uh, what I'm shooting, I'm shooting on my wide angle lens, so I'm I'm trying to actually avoid the the, the sun uh, in the upper part of the image. Uh, so I tilted down my camera all the way. Uh, so I'm actually capturing uh, these two rocks down here and then uh, this main subject these cascades the, the water that's coming uh, from up there all the way down and curling down on the right anyway uh, I'm probably gonna need to focus stack this because we have immediate foreground and then we have a couple of meters back we have the water itself and uh, yeah I'm gonna probably take three photos and uh, later in post-production I'm going to stack all the focuses the immediate foreground the middle ground and the background let's take photos
Okay, here we are. We are now uh, all the way down at the bottom of the Gostilje waterfalls. And uh, yeah, so I am across the river. I went over that bridge, I don't know if you can see it. And this is the final waterfall. Uh, unfortunately, it looks small on this screen. Anyway, I got my camera and I got my 17 to 50 millimeters and I'm zoomed all the way to 50 uh, so I can actually see the waterfall. Unfortunately, I don't think you guys can see it. Yeah, I'm gonna show you the video from the camera. Basically what I'm doing is uh, I got my circular polarizer on the lens so that I am able to cut some of the reflections of the water because when you're so close to the wa uh, water stream like this uh, there's all kinds of glares from the, the, the water itself, from the rocks, you know, so it it, it can ruin the picture. Anyway, let me switch to the camera itself and I can show you what I mean. This is how it looks without the polarization. So yeah, let's turn it all the way. And yeah, that's pretty much the composition. Uh, I'm trying to cut from the right side here. Uh, there is some uh, some trees cut off and it doesn't look that pretty. Anyway, it's pretty much straightforward shot, so yeah, let's go and take the photo. Okay, we got something interesting going on. We got the sun right above the waterfall there. So I'm trying to actually catch the uh, the sun with that uh, star look, you know. So I'm gonna take a couple of exposures here at f22 and try to see if I'm gonna be able to blend later, you know, the sun with the waterfall itself. Basically, how it looks is. Uh, I don't know if you can see. Anyway, uh, let me hurry up and take the photos and see what we are going to get. <laughs> 